We're in Latch, I've got some basic settings, put Pro Tools into play and watch what happens. And you can see now that Wave Rider has written the automation into the volume automation lane for this track. And it's looked at the audio and just managed it. And the degree of which it pushes and pulls the audio is really down to how we set these controls up. So now we can go back to the beginning and in one pass We've now got this plugin here managing the level of the voiceover. And then we've got this plugin here, which if I set this to channel two, so even though the plugin is on this first track, the plugin is going to be controlling the fader on this track. So I just arranged it so you can see the faders in action. We've got this one here in ride which is this one controlling the voiceover. This one set to duck, which is this one which is controlling channel two. So it will control this fader. And let's see without me doing anything, what sort of a job it does. Hello, it's me, Umberto. Don't know about you, but I think Christmas is a really stressful time. So why don't you take a rest from it all and join us on Christmas Eve at nine o'clock and Christmas Day at six for a fantastic carol concert from the Bridgewater Hall featuring Leslie Garrett, the Greater Manchester Police Trumpeters and the Combined Hospitals Choir. I hope you all have a peaceful Christmas. So there we go, you can see it's dipped down and we can determine exactly that. So maybe the music was a little bit too quiet under the voiceover. Maybe we'll slow the release down a little bit, speed up the attack very slightly and we can have another go. I mean, these are all things that you just get a bit more experience of as you do it. Today I want to take a look at this new version of Defaulter. Now Defaulter has been out for a little while, so you can choose to work to either to Peak or to RMS. If you want to work to RMS, then just click the RMS button on, and then you can set the level for the maximum RMS. You can choose what you want to set that to, and then click on a region or a clip, and press the analyze button. Now you can see that the clip gain is being adjusted and when it's happy, it's automatically moved on to the next clip. And again, I can hit analyze, processes that one and moves on to the next clip. Hit analyze and on we go. But it doesn't stop there. Because with the new version of Defaulter, QuietArt have also included a keyboard maestro set of macros. So now I've got the keyboard maestro enabled. Firstly, what I'm going to do is just to clear the clip gain. So we're going to right click down to clear clip gain. I'm going to select the first clip on the track, hit analyze. So far, so good. It's adjusting the clip gain to the appropriate RMS level. But notice now, I'm not having to continually hit the Analyze button. It's going through and analyzing and adjusting the clip gain accordingly 
without me having to do anything. Now, it's fairly important at this point that you don't try and click on anything because it'll upset the macros. Because what's actually happening here is there are a series of macros at work. And now it's got to the end of the track. Part of the way that they've designed it is actually it checks that last clip four times before timing out. And so with the combination of defaulter and wave rider, you can very quickly and easily get a well-leveled set of tracks. And then you can concentrate on working through and actually doing the mix. So I hope that's been helpful and I'll see you again soon.